Hi, I'm Mark Metcalf. Welcome to the Libby Montana Movie of the Month on My24. Tonight's movie is Lone Hero. Lone Hero features Lou Diamond Phillips, Sean Patrick Flannery, a lot of people with three names, Robert Forster, and myself. Lone Hero tells the story of a biker gang, a bad biker gang, and their takeover of a small town and the ensuing battle for supremacy. Later on, I'll talk more about the making of Lone Hero, and we will also be joined by my good friend Julian Newby from First Stage Children's Theater and First Stage Children's Theater Academy, who will tell us about their upcoming production of 12 Days and Milwaukee Christmas, written by Jimmy DeVita. So now, let's sit back and enjoy tonight's Libby Montana My24 Movie of the Month, Lone Hero. Welcome back to the Libby Montana Movie of the Month. I'm here at Milwaukee Youth Arts Center with my good friend, Julia Newby, the Education Director for First Stage Children's Theater and the First Stage Theater Academy. Hi, Julia. Hi. How are you? Really well. I'm glad you could be here. I am too. Um, I wanted to talk to you about Lone Hero a okay. little bit. There is a lot of violence in this movie. There's a lot of gun violence, I know. Is it hard as an educator for you to condone that? It is. It is a little tricky for me to condone this. I know, yeah. I understand. Guns on a movie set or on a stage set, as you know, are always handled, safety is always the priority. So every weapon is checked for uh, rounds for, to see if there's any uh, uh, ordnance, ordnance is a military term, but any uh, live ammunition in it or anything like that. Every actor involved in the scene gets to check the weapon, hold the weapon, see how it works, so that everybody knows that it's safe. That is such important information that's and that's good to know. information that is important for young people to know or for their parents to share, to share with, with them. them. Right, exactly. Yeah. exactly. So you worked with Lou Diamond Phillips right. in this movie yep. and I read in the paper that Lou Diamond Phillips was recently in Milwaukee shooting a television pilot. He was here and I can't remember the name of the pilot but it's a pilot that takes place in Milwaukee. Wow. And uh, they hope to shoot, they at one point had hoped to shoot the whole series here in Milwaukee, but they're going to shoot, come back if the pilot gets picked up. And that's what happens, you shoot a pilot and then the studios look at it and networks and see if they want to do it. If it gets picked up and they shoot more, they're going to be back in Milwaukee a lot shooting second unit and some scenes because they love the way Milwaukee looks. It's a great city. Wow, and well, the other it good, is. It is. And the other good thing is that on January 1, 2008, this Milwaukee, uh, Wisconsin film incentives legislation kicks into effect, for, where if you shoot movies or TV or any kind of gaming video, anything you shoot here, you get a 25% tax rebate on every dollar you spend. It's all designed to encourage what I like to call the entertainment, the 21st century and industry of entertainment, to encourage that to come to Wisconsin and shoot here. And Milwaukee is such a great location. That is so exciting. Yeah. Hopefully we will get more uh, yeah. entertainment going on in the city. Oh yeah, there'll be more, I'm sure. You also worked with Robert Forrester on this movie. Robert Forrester plays the sort of m older mentor of the lone hero, right. uh, Sean Patrick Fa Flannery. Yes, wonderful actor, uh, yeah. really nice man. His photograph is up on the, uh, the wall of Libby Montana, my restaurant. Uh, he says, Oh, wait, aim low, they might be crawling, or something like that. <laughs> um, but he's interesting story he told me. His first film, he was a young kid just out of the Merchant Marine, went and acted in the theater in New York, and he got cast by John Huston to work in a movie called Reflections of the Golden Eye with Marlon Brando and Liz Taylor. First movie, wow. kid, right out of the box. That's amazing. It's amazing. It was a great break. And he was like, uh, uh, but he told me the story, Brando, had him in to sit, to sit in his trailer while they were waiting for lights to get set up one day. And uh, Brando said, come on in, kid, and talk to me. And uh, so they, uh, he went in there and he's talking, asking questions, and Brando said, just a minute. The door to the trailer was open and Brando looked out the door and he said, you see that red car over there? Watch this. He went over and he called the second AD. He said, hey, come here. Called the second AD over to the door and he said, uh, you see that red car over there? They were shooting in a university campus that was across the, like the quadrangle, mm -hmm. 100 yards away. See that red car? I don't like it. Yes, sir, Mr. Brando. Yes, sir, Mr. Brando. We'll take care of it right away, sir, Mr. Brando. Yes, sir. 
So they, uh, the second AD Duke goes, and for about 10 minutes, they find the guy who owns this red car, and then the red car is, finally they had to <laughs> tow it out of the way, so it didn't, wasn't in Mr. Brando's vision. And Brando watches them all do this, pointing to Brando, and he points to Robert Forrester and says, see that? And he leans into him and says, the trick is, make them fear you. <laughs> So that was the first lesson in filmmaking or in being a movie star that Robert Forrester got from wow. Marlon Brando, make them fear you. I guess good advice. It's good advice. <laughs> now let's return to the Libby Montana Movie of the Month, Lone Hero on My 24. Thank you. Thank you, Julia. Welcome back to the Libby Montana Movie of the Month on My 24. I hope you were enjoying watching this movie as much as I enjoyed making it. If you love movies, be sure to watch Made in Hollywood and Real Talk on Sunday mornings here on My24. I'd like to thank Julia Newby of First Stage Children's Theater for talking to us about their production of 12 Days a Milwaukee Christmas. I'll be back next month with another Libby Montana Movie of the Month on CW18. Fortune Hunters is a family movie starring Richard Thomas, John Boy Walton, Maureen McCormick, Marsha from the Brady Bunch, C. Thomas Howell, just about everything, and myself. I play a not-too-bright policeman. Wait a minute, who wrote that? I, I see plenty bright, he's a little confused, that's all. Please, stop in and visit us at Libby Montana Bar and Grill and try one of our famous pot pies on Saturday night. Sign up for volleyball, our winter league starts soon, and bring your Christmas parties here. Now, the conclusion of Lone Hero.